Hello, beautiful friends, beautiful souls. I'm so excited and grateful to have each of you here today. My name is Christina, also known as the Rainbow Veil here on YouTube. Miss Opal is in here with us today, so you'll hear her <laughs> moving around. I'm a psychic medium and Reiki master teacher working out of the Virginia area. Um, I had a big announcement as well that I wanted to make um, before we get started. So I talked to you all uh, a few weeks ago in our last session about the fact that I have been working really hard to get certified in uh, hypnosis and past life regression. <clears throat> and I have become credentialed several months ago um, and certified. Um, I just started offering this as a service literally like at midnight last night. <laughs> so if you've ever been curious about diving into a past life for yourself, if you've had questions that you feel like need to be answered, I'm offering two separate uh, versions of past life regressions. The first is past life regression and higher self hypnosis where you are walked through a past life and then we take you into the spirit side and call forward your higher self. And then we proceed to ask your higher self any questions that you have regarding this particular life that you're in, the past life that you might have had questions on. Um, no question is off limits. Um, if you have questions as to what type of questions you should ask your higher self, you can look on my website. If you go to christinathemedium.com and look at my services, Underneath my past life regression uh, services are examples of questions that you can ask your higher self. Um, so again, no question is off limits. Um, higher self uh, hypnosis paired with past life regression is going to be about a three hour session. All of that is performed via Zoom. Uh, so it's done remotely. You do not have to be in person with me in order to do those sessions. The session is recorded and then it is sent to you after the session. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are probably familiar with Dolores Cannon's uh, method of hypnosis, QHHT, this version is very similar to this. Um, it's not QHHT per se, um, but it's a couple of different types of healing modalities basically poured into one. Um, past life regression and uh, Life in between life hypnosis is the second uh, service that I'm offering. The only difference in these sessions is uh, life in between life hypnosis is going to be dealing more towards we walk you through that past life and then you are walked into the spirit side and we have you hook up with your spirit team, your council of elders. We have you find your special place over on the other side because everybody has one. Um, and then we ask your spirit guides and your council of elders any question that you have regarding this life. And again, you can use those examples of what to ask your higher self as also examples of questions to ask your spirit guides and council of elders. If you go to christinathemedium.com, you can find those new services linked there. I'm super excited about that. Always an adventure on where we go, <laughs> but enough about that. Let's get started on our session tonight. So as I was getting prepared for this session, <clears throat> I started asking my spirit guides, what would be most serving to everyone in the collective? And they said, work on the nerves. I was like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> and they said, do a session that helps calm everyone's nerves, but also deal with the nervous system in general. So it gave me the feeling like perhaps there might be many of us out there in the collective that are kind of operating out of that fight or flight still. Um, maybe that's because you've just been overly worked and overly stressed lately. If you've been having any issues where you've been feeling nervous or overly anxious, this session is going to be for you. So let's get started. I already feel spirit coming in here. I'm starting to get hot. <laughs> All right. Let's just start taking some nice deep breaths in through the nose and out 
through the mouth. We have our sacred spray. This is chill pill. Um, this has citrus, lavender, patchouli, and peppermint. I thought this would be nice to connect with your auric field and start getting everything to quiet down, settle down. So let's start there. Just keep taking those nice deep breaths. breathing until you can feel almost like that release and pressure in your chest. If you're anything like me, I can definitely be an anxious girly. <laughs> um, but I've noticed that if I start getting anxious, sometimes it's hard to get a good deep breath in. So let's keep breathing together until you can start getting that good deep breath in. In front. sleeves here. <laughs> I can always tell when spirit's coming in and there's a lot in here today. Down your sides. Other side. Just a little bit more around your back. So full of grease. <laughs> okay. And I wanted to bring out one more spray. So this is my sensitive heart spray. Got this as a gift from my beautiful Aunt Teresa. And I felt called to just use this specifically around the chakra points um, so that we can start opening these areas and almost like think of it like we're draining these areas in the most gentle way of anything of a lower vibration, anything that might be keeping you in like a disempowered, anxious state basically. So starting above your head. your eyes here and spray almost like on top of your head so I'm not spraying you right in the face. <laughs> Covering your eyes here. Third eye. Throat feels um, a little overactive. Just covering your eyes once more. We're just going to spray of the throat. Just sending some Reiki into the throat now. Start soothing this area. There it goes. Okay, we'll come back. Next to the chest. Good. Sacral. And the root. Good. Okay. Today, have these really beautiful wooden beads. Got these as a gift from my beautiful cousin Jessica. But I didn't want to bring our usual rattle out today. I felt like that sound might be a little bit triggering, especially if many of us are still feeling a little bit anxious. 
So what I'm going to do, we're going to use this as our rattle to rattle away anything of a lower vibration, anything that's not supportive to us, um, and anything that's keeping you in that fight or flight or freeze state, um, anything at all that might be hovering in your auric field that's keeping you anxious. I'm going to start around your back. Feeling a lot of energy happening around your back area. you to envision anything that is causing pain, anything that is causing anxiety is just going to wash away almost like a breath, a breath out. side. The trunk of the body. And I'm channeling Reiki to you. As we are using this rattle today as well. Just sending in supportive Reiki energy. Here, my most favorite amethyst cluster. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Um, we were up in Shenandoah here in Virginia going through some of the caverns and I saw 
this and I was like, oh, you're coming home with me. <laughs> so what I wanted to do with this, I want to feel through your meridian points within the body and untangle some of these areas. And we're going to use this bad boy as a comb, okay? Think of your meridians in case you're new to this. Um, and you're just joining us. Think of your meridians as being almost like the energetic circulatory system of your body. And if there's any stagnation or blockages within these areas, it can cause pain or pressure sensations that radiate throughout different areas of the body. So we're going to use this guy like a comb. Comb away any anxious energy. Breathe. Just combing this anxiety away from the crown. my hand up in the crown, sending in Reiki energy to take the place of all we removed. Alright, I'm feeling a little bit of um, anxious energy around the ears too, so just a meridian on the right side of our face. It's called the triple warmer meridian. And it runs down the cranial nerves, it runs down the side, right side of your neck, and down your right arm. And this is the meridian that governs our stress response and our fight or flight or freeze response. I'm feeling just a little bit of a blockage here. So as I channel, I'll continue to calm this energy out. some towards the back of the neck, so we're just going to go back there now. Just combing the back of the neck and channeling additional energy into this space. Uncle agrees. <laughs>
here my selenite wand. And we're going to use this to now smooth out these areas. Still feel a little bit rigid, and that's how I often feel energy that has had anxiety removed. So let's use our selenite wand to just calm and smooth these areas out, especially over the crown. Clearing the center column of your aura. Just continuing to channel energy to you. Behind you, same thing. Just going up, down, up, and down, up, and down. Excellent. here. This is such a buzzy crystal. It's hard to see, but it's this really pretty hunter green color. I got this crystal from my soul sister Kim. Shout out to Kim if she's watching. This is called Vivianite. If you actually look this up, this type of crystal grows on corpses. It's just one of the places that they find this. This isn't where they found this, <laughs> but I always think that that's very interesting that this is the stone that literally alchemizes our physical vessels after we leave them. So what I thought that I would do is bring this out in almost like a lightning bolt in the most gentle way. Let's fill your energy field and your body with the energy of rebirth with the energy of a reset. So just placing this in your third eye area as we channel Reiki to you. Setting the intention for rebirth, renewal, transformation,
infusing some baby cinnamon. sure this is a turkey feather. Could be wrong. But my husband got this for me for Christmas several years ago and it has this really beautiful uh, carnelian wrap around the base and then there's an amethyst point at the base of it. Now that we've pushed everything unsupported out, we've smoothed everything out just for good measure. Let's go around. Make sure that everything has been wafted away. energy to you. rose cologne. It's very similar to uh, Florida water. I'm going to bring this out. Let's infuse these beautiful gold notes of rose in your aura as we fluff it up. I hope you enjoyed today's session. I send each of you so, so much love and appreciation whenever and wherever you are in our worlds right now.